As part of the Melillo method, there's a number of different pieces of equipment that we use consistently, not only in the center, but this is something that we also train parents on these equipment and the use of it at home. So I want to go through some of the equipment we have and talk about what it's about, why we use it, and talk a little bit about its operation. So the first one I want to use, about, use is called a TENS unit. TENS stands for uh, T-E-N-S, transcutaneous electrogalvanic nerve stimulation. And essentially what it does is just generates, you know, very low electrical impulses at a specific frequency depending on the program that travel really kind of a, across the same large fibers uh, that we do for tactile stimulation, you know, touch, pressure, um, and muscle activity. And it is, you know, a very powerful form of stimulation, and it can be directed towards different areas of the brain um, specifically. Uh, this unit in particular is called the Health Made Forever. Been using this for a while, and this is a very small unit. That's why I like it. But also, it's a, it has a wireless capacity, and that's very important. The wireless capacity is critical because when we're working with kids, especially low functioning. Um, children that might be really resistant to anything being put on, but also if we're dealing with any patient, nobody likes having wires around. The traditional TENS units have four wire, have two wires with four different pads, and you have to place them in different areas, and that's fine. But again, when we're doing things mobility-wise, when we're trying to use this in conjunction with other activities, then the wireless is key. And this has only been available in the past several years. Um, the wireless patch here, it comes off and we place it on a part of the body. In general, when we're dealing with kids that might pull it off, we want to put it in a place where they can't reach it. And what we found is that if we put it right next to the scapula, between the scapula or the wing bone and the spine, down low enough and up high enough that they can't reach it this way and they can't reach it that way, then they can't pull it off. Again, many kids are gonna be resistant to anything touching their body or on their body. This may have nothing to do with whether they feel it or not, they're just automatically gonna be resistant. So we place it in that area and we're using it from a hemispheric perspective. So we're putting it on the left side if we wanna stimulate the right brain and the right brain, the right side if we wanna stimulate the left brain. When we do that, it's specifically going to go through brain pathways that will go to Brodmann areas 312, which is the parietal lobe areas, and that is also connected with the premotor areas and other areas of the brain, but especially it's going to go to that parietal lobe area, which is going to give powerful stimulation, especially in children that don't feel their body very well. So the way we use this is in the wireless kit, which, we'll, which, we'll, which we describe to parents, this is the Bluetooth. Um, this unit gets turned on from the bottom, and when it turns on, it lights up. Now, depending on the unit, they, they're changing this unit all the time, which is uh, a little bit confusing. There are different numbers, and we choose different programs. In this program, again, uh, it would be number six, which kind of has the hand on like a ball. That's the frequency I like. That's the just sensory stimulation. We're not looking for motor stimulation, only sensory stimulation. And then this patch goes on their body. Now, the key here is when you're putting this on, we put this on and turn, turn this unit on first, and then we see a red light that comes on, which means it's on, and we have it on the patient. We then turn this on. And when we do that, you will see that this turns blue and green, and then red and blue. When it is red and blue, that means that the Bluetooth is connected. We also see that this, the blue is under channel A. If we press this silver button, we can go from A to B, but we always want to be on A. And then from here, we can choose the program under mode, it's M. We can get, then go to mode number six, okay? We go down and press it, and we go to six on this one. 
Others may be five. It's usually five or six, depending on the, the model that we're using. And then we go to time. How, much, how long are we going to use it for? It starts at um, either, uh, it starts at 20 minutes on these units. And for the most part, that's our starting point. If people are using this at home, it's going to start at 20 minutes. And then we press the T to go up. It goes from 10 minutes to 60 minutes, and we choose the time we're going to be using it. Most parents, if they're using it at home, again, are going to start at initially 20 minutes, and then they're going to work up. We usually want every two weeks or so to go up another 10 minutes or 20 minutes, depending on the way we prescribe it. You turn it up till the patient reacts or says they feel it. Some children have such little perception of their body, we can turn this all the way up. I mean, this one goes up all the way to 10. Some go to 20. And we have some children we can turn it all the way up and they don't seem to react at all. But most children, at a certain point, even if they're nonverbal or non-speaking, they will react. You'll see them all of a sudden notice that they feel something on their back and they look around. But then we still go up a little to see if we get to the point where they're uncomfortable. If they get to the point where it seems like it's really uncomfortable, we then turn it down one or two from there because we don't want them to be uncomfortable, but we do want to know that they feel it. And that also becomes kind of a measurement. If we have a child and we can turn it up to 20 and they don't react, and then two months into the program, they only tolerate going up to you know five or 10, um, then we know that we're moving in the right direction and they're feeling their body and that's a good sign. And we always then can turn it down because we don't want it to be uncomfortable for them. We generally never want to go below, below three. Um, two is the maximum. Um, and everybody should be able to tolerate that because this is very comfortable. So this is the use of the TENS unit. Um, okay, so this, let me do that again. So this is the use of the TENS unit. 